Okay, so starting with the review, you should know that group 1A is the alkali metals with a plus one charge. Group 2A is the alkaline earth and they have a plus two. We have plus three, plus a negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, and zero. Remember that's just for the non-metals though. And then in the middle are our transition metals. And of the transition metals, they have variable charges except silver, which has a plus one, zinc and cadmium, with, which both have plus twos, and aluminum, which has a plus three. Remember that our positive ions are called cations, and they have more protons than electrons. Our cations are going to be metals because metals lose electrons, resulting in a positive charge. Negative ions, or anions, have gained electrons. Therefore, they have more electrons than protons. And our nonmetals are going to make anions. So pause the video and figure out the charge of each of these elements after they gain or lose electrons. Calcium is a plus 2, nitrogen is a negative 3, potassium a plus 1, zinc is a plus 2, oxygen a negative 2, magnesium a plus 2, aluminum a plus 3, and silver is a plus 1. And we get those straight off the periodic table. I'm going to pause the video and try this one on your own. From the periodic table, we get chlorine is a negative 1. Sulfur was a negative 2. Nitrogen a negative 3. Magnesium plus 2. And aluminum is a plus 3. Go ahead and pause the video and do this one on your own. Remember that when elements are in the same group or family, they have similar characteristics such as reactivity and properties. So looking at these elements, you find that A has the same properties because they're in the same group. I'm going to pause the video and try this one on your own. And same as the last problem, calcium is in the same column or group as magnesium, so it has similar properties. When ions are combined together to form compounds, the overall charge of the compounds must be zero or neutral. So if we looked at how potassium and chloride bond, we first need to look at the charges of each of them. Potassium has a plus one and chlorine is a negative one. So their charges cancel out in a one to one ratio and we're left with just KCl. When magnesium and chlorine bond, magnesium has a plus two charge and chlorine has a negative one. So when we cross the charges, we get MgCl2 because we need two chlorines for every one magnesium. So notice the one goes with magnesium and the two goes with chloride. That gives you a negative two and a positive two charge which equals zero. The metal is always written first in a ionic compound. Polyatomic ions are ions that have several different elements that have to stay together. If you have more than one polyatomic ion, then you have to have parentheses around the polyatomic ion and then the subscript. So for zinc sulfate, zinc has a plus two charge and sulfate is SO4 with a negative two charge. So 
So notice the plus 2 and negative 2 cancel out, and you have just Zn SO4. For magnesium nitrate, magnesium is a plus 2, and nitrate is a negative 1. So we cross the charges, and we have 1 magnesium, and we leave that off, and we need 2 nitrates. But we need parentheses around the nitrate. You need to write the formula for each of the following compounds. You're going to pause the video and try those on your own. Restart when you think you have them. Lithium is a plus one and fluorine is a negative one, so they cancel, giving you just LIF. Calcium is a plus two, sulfur is a negative two, so again, those just cancel, giving you CAS. You can cross the twos, and notice you get CA2S2, which reduced down to one to one. Cesium oxide, you have a plus one and a negative two, which give you CS2O. Go ahead and pause the video and try these next three on your own. Aluminum has a plus three and oxide is a negative two. So crossing the charges, you get Al2O3. Sodium is a plus one, and sulfide is a negative two. Crossing the charges, you get Na2S. Aluminum is a plus three. Chloride is a negative one. So crossing the charges, you get AlCl3. Go ahead and pause the video and try these three on your own. So a hint before you get started, hydroxide, sulfate, and phosphate are all polyatomic ions. Sodium is a plus one, and hydroxide is OH negative one. The charges cancel, and you get NaOH. Lithium is a plus one, sulfate is SO4 negative two, so crossing the charges you get Li2SO4. Barium is a plus two, and phosphate is PO4 negative three, so crossing the charges you get Ba3 PO4, 2. You do not need parentheses around barium because it's a single element, but you do need parentheses around phosphate since you have more than one of them. And pause the video and try these three on your own. Calcium is a plus two and hydroxide is a negative one. Be careful on this one because when you cross the charges, you have to put hydroxide in parentheses. It has to be CaOH2. Because if you don't put parentheses, you have one calcium, one oxygen, and two hydrogens. And you need two oxygens and two hydrogens since that's hydroxide. Silver is a plus one and nitrate is a negative one. So the charges cancel, giving you AgNO3. Zinc is a plus two, and acetate is C2H3O2 negative one. So crossing the charges, acetate in parentheses, and a two on the outside. Go ahead and pause the video and try these three on your own.
Lithium is a plus one and phosphate is PO4 negative three. Crossing the charges, you get Li3PO4. Potassium is a plus one and chromate is CRO4 negative two. Crossing the charges, you get K2CRO4. Cadmium is a plus two and sulfate is an SO4 negative two. So notice the twos cancel out giving you just CdSO4. Go ahead and pause the video and try these three on your own. Ammonium is an H4 plus one and nitrate is NO3 negative one. So the charges cancel and you have NH4 and NO3. Remember that that two in Roman numerals was the charge on copper. So that's copper two and sulfate has a negative two. So the charges cancel and you have just CuSO4. Zinc is a plus two and chlorate is ClO3 negative one. And so crossing the charges, you get Zn, ClO3, with a 2 on the outside. I'm going to pause the video and try these on your own. Magnesium is a plus 2, and phosphate is a negative 3. So crossing the charges, you get Mg3, PO4, 2. Ammonium is NH4 plus 1 and chromate CRO4 negative 2. Cross the charges and ammonium in parentheses 2 and 1 chromate. Silver is a plus 1 and nitrate is a negative 1. And they cancel out giving you AgNO3. Aluminum is a plus three and permanganate MnO4 negative one. Crossing the charges, you get Al, MnO4, and a three on the outside. 